Will AI take cybersecurity jobs? Should I even go into cybersecurity if one day AI is going to replace the job? I get this question a lot and I get exactly why you guys have this question. Every single week, there is news about AI, that AI is replacing coders, AI is replacing designers, accountants, and whatnot. So it's obvious that this can create panic, especially amongst freshers who are trying to get into cybersecurity. So in this video, we are going to break down this big question. So keep watching till the end because I am sure it will clear all your doubts. First, let's talk about why this panic. Let's be real. AI feels super powerful right now. AI can help us with almost anything, no matter what. It can write emails, spot patterns. It can even create videos and voices. So people think that if AI can do all this and replace so many of the jobs out there, can it also replace cybersecurity jobs? So that is exactly where the fear comes from. But the truth is AI is a tool. It is not a human replacement. Let's discuss more about that. Here's something that you wouldn't have thought about. And this is something that I want you to think about for a minute. Hackers use AI too. They are using it to get smarter. They are using it to make phishing emails better, scam people faster, to build viruses, to build malware, to test new ways of hacking and reaching into systems. So if attackers have started using AI, it's obvious that the defenders will also have to. Basically, what I'm trying to say is AI is just a weapon. And now the question is, if the attackers are using it, why should the defenders not, right? It's about who is going to use this weapon first and who is going to use this weapon in a better way. On the defensive side of things, AI is actually making our life so much more better because it's super useful, right? There are a lot of admin repetitive tasks that any job has to do again and again. And it's the same thing even in cybersecurity. So AI can actually help automate some of these repetitive amounts of workload that are there. It can also spot unusual activity faster than a human can looking at massive amounts of logs. But that's the key point. AI is helping defenders to make the job easier and better. It's not replacing the professionals. Instead of drowning in so many alerts and logs, cybersecurity professionals can actually spend their valuable time doing something better and let AI automate the repetitive tasks. Basically, you have to think of AI just like an assistant or somebody who's going to help you with all of your tasks. Let's talk a bit about why AI can't replace us. Cybersecurity is not just about the threats and the attacks that happen. It's actually about judgment, about context, making the right call. AI can tell you if something is going wrong or off the usual behavior, but it can't make the decision for you. Real life decisions involve a lot of things. Example, the people, the business, the context, and AI doesn't understand these things. Let's take an example. If there's an attack and the entire system needs to be shut down, it is a human being who's going to take a call if it is actually worth shutting down. AI can basically give you a suggestion that please shut down the system to prevent further lateral movement of the attack, etc. AI is going to make its suggestions, sometimes right, but sometimes wrong. It's the human being or the cybersecurity professional who's actually going to take that decision. It is going to be on the basis of the business, the context, if it is going to be worth it. That is something that a human being understands, not AI. It's kind of going to be a similar story to when calculators were invented, right? People thought that accountants jobs are over because calculators are just going to do all of the calculation. But did that happen? No, calculator just became a powerful tool that accountants use till date to make their jobs and life easier. It's going to be pretty similar with cybersecurity as well. People are constantly talking about AI taking over cybersecurity jobs, but there is something that lesser people are talking about, which is that AI is actually creating more cybersecurity jobs. Why you ask me? Because AI is in the landscape now and more and more businesses and organizations are actually adopting AI. It just increases the attack surface. We are seeing a rise of AI attacks happening, right? So we actually need experts who are going to secure the AI system Systems who are going to spot AI powered scams. So instead of replacing human professionals with AI, companies are actually going to hire professionals who are very good in cybersecurity and know how AI works and how it can be used to benefit the organization. So the conclusion of this video, is AI going to take cybersecurity jobs? Answer is no, it is not going to. The boring parts of work, yes, AI is going to automate that. And human beings are the ones who are going to make this automation possible. And it's only to make their lives better. The bigger picture, the decision making, the business context, the strategy, all of these things are going to be a human decision, right? For which we need human professionals who have the skills and the knowledge. If anything, 
cyber security is growing so dynamically right now in 2025 that people should be more and more excited to come in this field because of the scope and the opportunities because there are going to be more cyber jobs and demand for this is just going to increase this is going to be an exciting career and instead of being scared of ai think about it as your assistant or something that's going to help you do your job better i talk to a lot of people who are seeing ai as a threat to cyber security jobs and they are getting worried to get into a cyber security career because they think ai is going to replace them let me tell you that that's not going to happen you should be even more motivated to join cyber security protect organizations and you can make an amazing career in this field if you have any questions or doubts please comment down below and ask those questions to me i will try my best to answer them i hope this video helped you and subscribe to my channel like this video and share it with whom you think it can be helpful for thank you so much and see you next time